Okay, so when we finish at the dog uh, grooming competition or a dog show, you always need to bend his hair in again and to get rid of the hairspray. Um, I do try to do it gently. I try to do it with uh, a conditioning spray who will break down the hair and I can brush it a little. I don't push it too much to get out of it because I will uh, wash her and bath her again when I am at home. But we have to go at home, she has to go in the car driving through home so we have to um, secure the hair a little so it won't damage when the hair sprays in. So I will put some bands in, just some quick bands and some wraps where it can and then I go home and I do the bathing at home again. I don't bath the whole dog, I just bath uh, the top line. And that's more than enough. You don't have to be scared that your whole dog is going to wet, uh, to be wet. If you just use the shower head and you just make this uh, rinse with water, then put the shampoo in, rinse the hair, wash the hairspray out, rinse it and then use the conditioner. You must use the conditioner because you have to moist the hair again after using hairspray. Leave it in for a couple of minutes and when you have done that, just rinse it out and if you try it, you will see that the water is just going in one line down the coat and as long as you don't put the shower head in the coat or at the side of your dog's coat it will not go in inside so don't be afraid that you have to be dry the dog for three hours again <laughs> so now I just brush it a little bit and don't push it too much because then I will break it now we have the I will pick up this comb again. I will separate the hair again from the ears. And it don't have to be very clean lines for me at the moment because um, I just going to drive home after a competition to the hotel or to the something. Some days, if you go to a dog grooming uh, dog show, sorry, if you go to a dog show, you have to. Uh, do another day showing, then I won't do this at all because I leave the hairspray in until the next day so it's been quicker up if you uh, already have some layers. So if I have a one day dog show or a grooming competition, I just put some bands in, I will go to my hotel room or I go at home and I will wash this out. The first a part of her head I always do bands in and after that I do uh, wraps because if I do the wraps at the first part of her head is going to make it heavy and it will all go in front of her eyes which I see if I put wraps in at the front and most of the time it's uh, quicker for me to do uh, the bends again instead of the wraps. It's easy to to cut the bends out and then put some new bands in if I want. But now I just leave it here because I know I'm gonna wash her anyway. Alright, if I have a piece I will just put pull the wrap on it and I will just around it with my fingers and hold it between my middle finger and my thumb and just, just go around and around until I get it all on the top and then I have a straight line, I will split it half with my fingers just a little bit back and then once again I will do it like that, and that's all. And now I do two bands together around the rest.
for now this is the last one because now I have uh, put a place where I have to put the leaves and the color on again and when I am back home I do this again but I make smaller pieces and I make exactly straight lines uh, between with the uh, point com, point com. <laughs> and then all the way down till here then it's not enough and why do you do it to the back again? Can you explain once more? Yes, if, if she... Um, I do it all the way to the, to the end because if she's standing and you want the top line as straight up as possible I will show you when she has her head up later because then um, if you're looking to the coat and you want to have this as much as straight, straight up and then go into the hair, the top of, of, the, of her head, you can see, imagine that this hair must be much more longer than the hair on her head. So that's why I found this way more important to protect. Of course, this is also important. So that's why it's all important and not not only do the head. the head, but all the way down. Because she is playing and running around all day and she goes through under the fences. Uh, and you can imagine that if I want to save this hair of this coat, also here, she go under the fence and she screw, um, breaks the hair. she breaks her hair every time she go under the fence yeah. and it will never go yeah. as long as I want it to be. So, ears, I want to put some bands in her ears. If her ears are long enough, I will do wraps in her ears as well. But now I am doing uh, bands in her ear because if I do the wraps in and I have to uh, put it together, it will be, um, how do I say, maybe too heavy for her to hang only at this piece of hair. You have to have a little bit more hair here to uh, can secure it the with the wraps. Yeah. So now we'll do it just with only bands with the bands, yes. Also just one or two because I don't want to go too much down. I feel of course where her leather ends. And that's where I put the bend in. Now I will do just one more and then I will leave it because I don't want to that the bends uh, damage the underneath tips. It's also here. Maybe I can do, when I uh, bend her in at home I will do just one extra and then I will leave this because if I put here a bend in it will definitely break yeah. at the tip. Okay. And how do you know you're not uh, too close to the ear now? Normally I check it. Ah, okay. Good. I feel before I put the bend in I feel where it's end and when I'm finished I always put my comb sure. above. You can also Check it from the other side. And as long as you can do this, you know that there is space between the band and the ear. Okay. 